Maybe big picture. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, we're, we're almost, I guess, we're more than nine months into the year, more than three quarters into this year. It just seems like a big payback reset type of year, right? The Fed catching up on a lot of uh, deferred maintenance <laughs> on inflation, uh, valuations coming back into yeah. line, yeah. Uh, rebuilding of a yield cushion in, in the bond market. I mean, just what are your top line thoughts on what an investor ought to be doing yeah. with all that? Well, that's a really good point. I, I'm, I'm glad you sort of laid it out that way. The Fed has been absolutely crystal clear. I think investors tend to forget. They are saying with no ambiguity that we're going to fight inflation. And if you look at the history of fighting inflation, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. And it doesn't happen that the inflation figures are actually going to moderate that fast either. So you have to expect the Fed is going to stay at that game. They're going to continue to raise rates. They're probably not going to go that much further than what the market expects, but they're not going to pivot and come down anytime soon. So we've seen the valuation contraction, which you referred to. Now we're looking for where do earnings go, and we're going to see weak third quarter earnings. We're going to see probably weak fourth quarter earnings. And now the market's not really looking at third quarter and fourth quarter. The market's really looking at where are trough earnings and when do I see the opportunity to buy. So, look. Will the market go down another 10 percent or 15 percent or not? Who knows? That's an impossible thing to, to, to really guess at. But now is the time when you're going to start to see investors differentiate. And I do think that equities, while they look scary right now, mm -hmm. are probably pretty interesting. Credit? Credit's got another leg to go, in my judgment. You think so? Yeah, yeah because I think that corporations are going to see their earnings slow. They're going to see revenues slow. And they're going to see interest rates rise pretty substantially. And if you're refinancing, that's going to be a shock. And even if you're not refinancing and you have to refinance, let's say, you know, two years out, you're going to run over a real, really difficult time period when covenants are going to be perhaps in breach and yeah. you're perhaps going to have to deal with the bank. So I think the credit hasn't yet seen the tough time. Yeah, it moves a bit slower, as we know, and uh, maybe uh, more shoes to drop there. Now, in that kind of environment, uh, just to get back to sort of where within the market looks interesting or not, Healthcare is a popular place to say, well, it's a blend of growth and value, and it's not as cyclical in terms of the underlying businesses. Um, but why, why would you think that's not a place to take some shelter? Well, look, when the market goes through these kinds of changes, money moves around in the bathtub, so to speak. Yeah. And, you know, the part of the bathtub that it's occupying right now are the less risky, more stable areas. And so they get crowded. That, you know, and, and the uncrowded spots are the places that people all sold from. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I think you're going to see earnings moderate or go down in the third and fourth quarter. But if you're looking at consumer areas, industrial areas, you're going to see that earnings effect. And you've seen the multiple contractions, but that's where the value is probably going to be. Mm -hmm. Energy is the other popular one because it's where the estimates keep going up and it seems like you have the wind at your back. Um, and even on a you know, relative performance level, it's going to probably get money continuing to chase it. Yeah, I do think energy is a little bit different because you've got a significant geopolitical overlay. Uh, but energy is up 20 plus percent, maybe on, you know, on average is up more in certain segments. And the market's down 30. That's a 55, 60 percent spread. Yeah. That's huge. You're not going to see that anymore. So it isn't necessarily going to collapse because I don't think the geopolitical environment is going to allow that to happen. But I don't think you're going to see the kind of returns that you got in the last 18 months. Yeah, uh, it's uh, certainly a fair argument. Peter, great to see you. Thank you.